Let's talk about you. What do you really need? I've spent the last 20 years studying, teaching, and coaching people to find their greatness and take their lives to the next level. Along the way, it's become evident that emotions are at the root of everybody's successes and failures. Worry and fear are the enemies, and it's time to forge the armor and earn the tools to overcome the two things that could single-handedly destroy your future. Hi, my name is Michael Johnson, and I'm a life coach, a peak performance trainer, and I'm the emotions guy. It's time to take back control, control of how you feel, control of how you act, and control of how you experience life. It's time to become a lifer, a new breed of overachiever focused on living every minute to its fullest. We are responsible for how we feel, and no one and no thing can make us feel anything. Emotional mastery is our journey, and emotional education and intelligence is the key. We are lifers, and this is Magic for Life. What's up, lifers? Michael Johnson here with the Magic for Life podcast, and I'm so excited that you joined me today because we're going to talk about you, one of my favorite subjects. And what we want to learn about today is what you need. Now, a long time ago, there was a guy named Maslow, and he created this hierarchy of needs. Now, we might have heard of it. You might have heard of it in school, college, high school, something like that. If you took a psychology class, everybody likes to teach about Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Now, the simple part of it is easy. On the hierarchy of needs, we all need air. Can't live without it for more than a few minutes. We need water. Our body is made up of mostly water. Got to have water. And food. And if you can't meet those first three needs, you die. And that's it. It's that simple. Now, next up is shelter, protection, right? And it starts going up the list. Now, you could go look at Maslow's hierarchy of needs, and lots of people have done studies and, and evaluated that and even come up with more uh, specific stuff. And one of the more famous uh, things that has been uh, at least discovered or, or talked about and researched was the six human needs. And this was done by Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins has done an extensive amount of work on the six human needs. And if you go and look, it's one of the, uh, I think, top three all-time uh, TED Talks. So you can go look up Tony Robbins and listen to his TED Talk on the six human needs. Today, what we're going to talk about is just two parts of those six human needs because I wanted to dig in a little bit with you and, and have a little bit of a, uh, a thought that went through your head about what it is that you need. I'm assuming that you're probably listening to me on a podcast and the likelihood is that you've got air, water, and food taken care of. And I hope indeed that that's the case. If not, then those need to be a priority and those are things we need to preserve our life. But what I would like to jump into today is talking about what it is you need when it comes to these two subjects. And here they are. Subject number one, what do you need in terms of certainty? What do you need in terms of variety? Now, on one hand, you have certainty. On the other hand, you have variety. Now, if you haven't noticed yet, those two things are pulling on each other. Those two things are opposites. Well, maybe not opposites, but they certainly are a paradox. The more certainty, the less variety, the more variety, the less certainty, and they kind of pull on each other. And so this paradox happens, okay? And what we want to do is we want to look at what it is that we need. So this is quite simple. If you realize that you need one or the other a little bit more, you can start to actually figure out how to meet those needs for yourself. Now, each of us, we have different needs. And through different portions of our life, what I've seen is that your needs change. Different when you're in high school than when you're in college than when you're a parent than when you're a grandparent. We all have different needs at those different phases. However, there are some things that kind of stick with us that we develop and that we get used to and we take those things with us, kind of like your signature or your, or your thumbprint, okay? So there are some cool uh, quizzes and stuff that you can take, and, and those are fun because you can go and look at them and, and see, and you'll kind of get the idea uh, how they work. <clears throat> and uh, Anthony Robbins has one. There's another one. They're great quizzes. They're a lot of fun. It's always fun to learn about yourself, right? Self-awareness is uh, the key, metacognition. 
But what we want to talk about is certainty and variety today. So with certainty, how many things in your world do you feel like you have to just have a hold of? You have to be sure about. How are you with your finances? Do you have to be so sure and so certain that you know exactly where your money's coming from? Or do you feel like, no, it'll come. I got this. No problem. It'll show up how it needs to. There's a huge spectrum there. One of them is very certain and one of them is very like, oh, we'll just go with it and we'll see what happens. Okay, what are you, how are you with your relationship? With any relationship? Okay, well, let's think about a romantic relationship. Do you feel like it needs to be changing up and exciting all the time? Or do you feel like you need to know exactly what's going to happen when you meet your significant other uh, today? Do you have a certain expectation of how things should go? Or is it just got to be a ton of different things all the time? What do you need? All right? Okay, but what about business? In business, do you have to have everything absolutely in order and know exactly how it's all going to go and, and make sure that everything is put together in the right place? Or do you feel like, gosh, you know, I need the, the excitement of what's going to happen different today as opposed to yesterday and tomorrow I want some new stuff coming all the time. I, I really love that. Now, these are all very uh, extreme opposites and obviously there's a lot of range in between. So it's not just like it's on or off. And it's not black or white. It, there is some gray area in there. But each of us are unique. Each of us have our thing that we need. And because we need that thing, we will then start to take action. And as we run information that comes from the outside world through our filters, <clears throat> then what happens is as we output it, we will start to act and react in ways that meet the needs that we're trying to meet. So I'd like you to think about this for a second. We have two things that we have to do here. One, I want you to think about what you need. And we're going to give a scale because I love scales. One to 10, it's easy. On a scale from one to 10, there is no 11. Okay, not for this scale. On a scale from one to 10, where do you feel like you would like, right? And this is your ideal. Where would you like to have your certainty, right? If it was just a little level of scale there, one to 10, where would you like to have it? Would you like to have it at a two or would you like to have it at a 10? 10 being you have to be absolutely certain, zero meaning I don't care, right? Where would you like it? This is where you would like it to be at the moment or as a general whole. Where would it feel good for that to be? Think about that little bar chart, right? And if you're just listening to me, there's just think of a bar chart and zero to 10, 10 is the highest. Where would you like that to be? An eight, a nine, a six, a two? Okay, now what about variety? The variety in your life, what do you need in ideal world? Would it be at a 10? Would it be at a zero? Where would it be for you? Okay, now that's great if you have an ideal image in your mind or a feeling or it sounds good if it's at like a six or a five or two or three or whatever it is, that's your ideal. Now, let's think about it again and imagine another chart, right? We'll just think of it like a, another uh, bar chart just like that uh, and put your thing on it. In fact, you could just use the same one if you want that you're imagining. And I wanna know where you're at. This is an assessment of where you're at right now because if you look at certainty and you go, I'd like to be, at an eight. That would be my ideal. I, uh, 10 is too much. I need a little bit of variety in there. Okay, so let's pretend that I'd like to be at an eight. If I was at an eight, ideally, where are you currently? All right, so we're looking at where that's at. Is there a gap? Or do you have too much of it? So are you currently at a 10 and you'd like to be at a six? Are you currently at a two and you'd like to be at a six? So put a little dot in your mind on that place. Where are you at in relationship to where you want to be? If there's a gap, then that's something that you probably ought to address. Okay, now you can think about that for variety as well. If there's a gap, right, you're going to put in your mind a little dot right there. If you wanted to be at a five, but you're at a seven of variety right now, you might understand why there's some conflict going on in your world. If you're at a two and you'd like to be at a 10 in variety, you might understand why there's some conflict going on in your world. 
And there are lots of ways to address that. But first, we have to identify where it is we want to go. And then we have to identify where we're at. And then we have to figure out how to close the gap. And this, this is a good process. Now, there are lots of ways to go about closing the gap. And there are lots of ways to deal with this. But this right here is just an identification process. And you can go through and do this awesome identification process. So think about it, spend a little bit of time right now. Uh, if you do want to go take one of those quizzes, they're easy to look up. If you want to go listen to Anthony Robbins, he's amazing, right? So you can go listen to, to his TED talk about the six human needs and learn more about it. But honestly, right now, what I want to encourage you to do is I want to encourage you to actually think about this, figure out what it is you need, and things will start to get clearer as an overall whole. And the more clear we can get, the easier it'll be to overcome some of our internal blocks that we are trying to overcome. All right, guys, I hope this helps. If you know somebody that needs to hear this today, please share it with them. Don't forget, hashtag magic for life, hashtag lifers for the win. I want to see those. Post those hashtags and they'll come right to me so I can see that you're enjoying the episode. If you have some comments or questions, put them down below uh, and uh, I'd love to hear from it. And as usual, hit the like and subscribe so that you can get all of the uh, episodes that are coming from Magic for Life. Anyway, we'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, lifers, don't forget to get your free copy of the Every Minute Book. You can find it at everyminutebook.com. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook and Instagram.